Hi there. Thanks for joining me. Today, we have a very quick meal. You can use it for lunch or dinner. You can use one pot to make this, and you can make this in under half an hour. It's so easy, you cannot mess it up. I guarantee you. If you plan on using one pot, then I highly suggest the Presto multi-cooker. They call it a kettle online. I don't know why. Well, you can heat water, yes, but I don't use it for that. It's perfect for all of my chili dishes or quick macaroni dishes as we're going to do today. You will need some oil, a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil is always good. You're going to need at least one pound of ground meat, turkey, beef. I'm using beef today. About a half an onion diced very finely, especially if you plan to have the kids enjoying it. I've also decided to include half a can of black olives, one can of mushrooms, one can of carrots. You will need a jar of pasta sauce, a can of uh, tomato paste, salt and pepper to taste. I prefer for this recipe to use white pepper over black pepper. My nieces will be eating this and it's just the milder pepper and it still gives great flavor. I'm also going to put into this one or two cans of stewed tomatoes. Now our carrots and mushrooms have been drained and the olives have been drained also. Now said you can do this in one pot. You can because you can use your Presto multi-cooker to prepare your pasta noodles first and then put that aside. But in order to, for this to be a very quick meal, I've used another pot to prepare the pasta noodles while I start working over here. First up will be the onions, then garlic powder. You can use real garlic or garlic powder. You can use real onions or onion powder. It's all up to you. Turn on your cooker, wait for it to heat up. You will hear it and then you can start. You're going to let your onions sweat, not very, very long. Just till they get a little softened. Next is your garlic powder. Feel free to add more oil if you'd like. When it, it smells this good, you know you're ready to put your meat in. I thank you all so much for watching my video. If you like it, please hit the like button below. If you'd like to see more, then subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload a fresh video.
Continue breaking up your meat. You don't want huge chunks. And feel free to adjust your heat as you need. Now that your meat is really brown, you can start adding your vegetables. I'll start with my tomatoes. And the carrots. Some tomato paste. Tomato sauce. some more sauce. Our mushrooms. Please feel free to use whatever vegetables you like. A dash of pepper. Now, time for some noodles. At this point, you have about three options. 
Well, you've got more than that. But you can either, if it's too loose, too watery, you can add more tomato paste. If it's not enough liquid in there at all, well, let's add some more sauce. And if there's just not enough tomatoes in it, then this is when you can add a second can of stewed tomatoes. We're done. Only thing left now is to taste for salt and see if we need to add any more. Let's take a quick bite. We can add a dash of salt. Let's turn it down to warm, put the cover on it, and get a plate. This did not take 15 minutes to complete. And if you start your noodles at the same time or just before you start cooking, then your noodles will be finished and ready to go into the pot when all of your ingredients have finished cooking together. If you want, you can leave it for about five minutes to let the noodles soak up the liquid from the tomato sauce, and you have just about enough time to go and get a plate. Why don't we get a plate and take a taste? Make sure you get everything inside of that bowl. It smells so good. This is really yummy. I'm going to finish this off camera. Until next time, see you then.